everyone, this is FaZe and welcome to my channel. Today I've got with me here the all new 2024 M4 iPad Pro. I've been using it for about a couple weeks now and I absolutely love it. I've done a full review on the iPad Pro along with how this device has replaced my MacBook. So if you wanna check those videos out, you can click the link above or in the description below to check them out. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over what's on my iPad Pro, how I set up my lock screen, my home screen, and the different applications that I have. So first, let's take a look at my lock screen. So on the left-hand side, I've got my widgets. Um, I've got the widget for the weather. Underneath it, I've got the widget for all the upcoming events. Um, then I've got my Kindle widget, which shows the book that I'm currently reading, the reminders widget, which basically showcases all my to-dos for that day. Then I've got my batteries widget, which shows, you know, the battery percentage of all the devices from my iPads, my AirPods, my pencil and stuff like that. So now let's go into my home screen. So this is how I have my iPad set up. On the top, these are the widgets that I'm using. I have the clock widget. Now, what's cool about the clock widget is that it's primarily just for aesthetics. I just honestly like the way it looks. So that's why I have the clock widget. But anyways, uh, when I want to check my battery's percentage, I just scroll up. Then I see the battery levels of my devices from the iPads, my Apple Pencil to my AirPods. So I really, really like that. When I don't want to see that, just scroll back up and I see my clock. Um, and then right next to it is the Kindle widget. As you can see, I'm currently reading the silent patients. I'm only like 41 pages in, but I'm super intrigued. Like this book is really, really good. I'm an avid reader. So in fact, believe it or not, I started my channel um, on digital reading, you know, the Kindle and digital reading. And, and the Kindle platform is my favorite platform when it comes to reading books. And of course, when I don't have my Kindle on me, it's nice to read on the iPad as well, um, because it is a nice device to read books on. This is the app of my choice. And I like how it just synchronizes between my Kindle and the Kindle app. Next up, I've got the top stories news widget on my iPad Pro. And here I can just see all the current things that are trending. So that's something that I really like to see at a quick glance. Uh, then I've got a picture of me and my wife. This is actually a picture from the proposal day back in October 2023. So it's a beautiful picture of me and my wife. I really like it. So I just have it, you know, plastered on my home screen. Uh, next up, I've got the weather widget. I like to see how the weather is in a, in a, at a quick glance and uh, the calendar widget. So it shows me the days of the month along with the upcoming events that I have coming up. All right, so those are my widgets that I have on my home screen. Right below it are the apps that I'm always using. So I've got files. Now, of course, it's not like the Finder app on a Mac, but I generally like it. So this is the files app. Then I've got reminders, which has all my to-dos and tasks listed for the day. I've got Maps, Camera, App Store, Netflix. So not only do I create content for you guys, I also like to consume content. And, and currently I'm watching Suits, which is one of my favorite shows right now. I'm on season five and I'm absolutely hooked. So that is what I'm watching. If there are any Netflix movies or shows that you recommend, definitely let me know. So that's Netflix. Then I've got Twitter, or should I call it X? I still call it Twitter. But um, I've got Twitter and I'm not really active on it. I just like to go on it to, you know, read the latest rumors of Apple and Tesla and stuff. So this is where I, I'm kind of up to date with what's going on in the tech world. Um, then I've got Monday, which I primarily use for work. It's a uh, great platform where I can see all the tasks and assignments and projects that I'm working on along with my team. LumaFusion is my app of choice when it comes to editing videos, at least for my YouTube channel. To be honest, it's a really nice app. For, for simple editing, it's pretty neat. And um, I, I use it so much that I don't even use Final Cut Pro anymore, at least for my YouTube video. So that's that. Then I've got Captions, which is a really neat app that allows you to add uh, captions on videos um, and also cool animations and other cool AI effects. And unfortunately, it's built for the iPhone. They don't have an iPad app as of yet. So unfortunately, I have to work with this you know, minimal canvas, but hopefully a large screen iPad version of this app comes out because it's a very powerful AI video editing tool that I really like. Then I've got Studio, which is a powerful graphic design application by GoDaddy. I like it even more than Canva. I think the amount of cool templates they have is absolutely fantastic. And I create a lot of cool graphics for my clients on this app. And even a lot of the thumbnails for my YouTube videos are created using this app. So 
You, some of these might look familiar. It's a great app and I really, really like it. Next up, I've got settings. Don't really need to spend too much talking about settings. Then on the next page, I've got the Apple TV widget. Um, I love Apple TV and I like how on this app, I can really like have all my shows and everything synchronized and organized. You know, it's really, really cool. Like for example, I'm watching The Longest Week with Jason Bateman on Peacock. So that's right there. I'm watching this really cool Apple TV Plus original called Acapulco. And I'm on season three. It just started. It's a fantastic, lighthearted comedy. I highly recommend it. Um, I love the Apple TV originals in general. So if there are any shows or movies that you are watching that you recommend for me, comment below and let me know. Then I've got the typical Apple apps like Claw, Weather Stocks, Find My. CapCut is a very nice video editing uh, application that I have. I've got Canva, which is similar to Studio by GoDaddy. I've got FaceApp because let's be honest, we all sometimes get blemishes on our face and I'll do some fine tuning here and there with the FaceApp. Then I've got Snapseed, which is a great um, program to edit pictures. So I can you know elevate brightness of certain levels and stuff like that. I can remove things that are not needed in images. So Snapseed is very powerful when it comes to that. Got Microsoft Word, Kindle Ultra Human. It's basically tr um, where I can see all the analytics from my smart ring. I don't have it on me right now. I'm not wearing it right now. But all my sleeping data and my calories, all that helpful information that's being tracked from my uh, Ultra Human ring is can be seen on the Ultra Human app. Then I've got Pages, Numbers, Excel, Remini, Remini, something like that. There are so many pictures that I have on my phone, whether it's from now or from the past that can sometimes look grainy or blurry. And this app does a great job to artificially enhance it to make it look high def. Remini, Remini, whatever it's called, is the app that you really need to download. Um, then I've got Photoshop, Facebook, um, typical Apple apps, teleprompter. Sometimes I do use my iPad as a teleprompter. Then I've got Zoom, Lightroom, Amazon, DoorLoop, Notability. Notability is my app of choice when it comes to note taking. So for example, this right here is a um, just a demo note from Notability. And I just like the way you can organize things, have graphics, the way you can draw on it. You have like so much control over the look and feel of your notes. So I like Apple Notes as well. That's great. But when it comes to drawing and actually writing things out, I think this app does it really, really well. I've got Instagram. Be sure to look me up and follow me. If you want to get to know me on an intimate level and see what I'm about on a day-to-day -day basis, follow me on Instagram. All right, so now let's take a look at my doc. I've got the messages application. I've got Safari. I've got Mail. I've got Outlook, which is Mail for all my work-related stuff. I've got Teams. Uh, Microsoft Teams is where I communicate with you know people working with me. Calendar app, Photos, Notes, Apple TV, Technically, I'm going to remove Apple TV from the dock since I already have the widget on my second screen. I've got YouTube because as much as I love watching shows on Netflix and Apple TV Plus, I feel like I consume more content on YouTube than any other application. Then I've got YouTube Studio. This is where I see all the analytics behind my videos, how they're performing, you know, what the impressions are like, what's the engagement like. You know, the viewership, the comments that I'm receiving. So if I'm responding to your comments, I'm responding it from this application. Then I've got ChatGPT because let's be honest, in today's day and age, who isn't using ChatGPT? I really like ChatGPT because I can really prove free documents and emails before sending them out. Then I've got HubSpot and HubSpot is the application of my choice when it comes to sending out emails for campaigns, digital campaigns that are running or even, you know, posting social media posts for my clients. So all my client related work is technically done from HubSpot. So basically this pretty much wraps up everything that's on my iPad Pro. I like to keep it very simple. I don't like to have a ton of applications that I'm not using, but of course, if there are any cool applications that you know of and you feel like I should download it, comment below, let me know. Check out all my new iPad Pro videos on my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already done so for more content on not just the iPad Pro, but other Apple products and Tesla. And I will see you next time.